It's Black History Month and we're celebrating. This is some black magic right here, y'all. Look at this volume though. Hey guys, it's Alyssa Marie here. Welcome back to my channel. Today I'm really, really excited for this video. I feel like I say that every time, but like I'm extra excited today because I wanna talk about something that is very near and dear to my heart. In honor of Black History Month, I wanted to honor all of my favorite natural hair care brands that are black owned. I love to support my own, which is why I'm so, so excited to do this video. Like it's just, it's so uplifting and empowering to see other black women or other black men like excelling and just doing the damn thing. And I just love, love, love to support it. And just sitting here right now and seeing all of these amazing products in front of me just gives me so much pride. I love it. I mean, I could talk about black girl magic all day, but let's just go ahead and get started. Actually, wait, before we get started, please make sure that you were subscribed to my channel. Please help your girl out. Don't just sit here and watch my videos and not be subscribed. It'll make me really sad. All right, so let's get into this. I am not going to list any of this out in any specific order. It's really just a random order in terms of how they're laid out on the table in front of me. So the first brand that I want to talk about is Curls. So my favorite of the Curls brand, like ultimate favorite, is their Blueberry Bliss collection. That collection has been game changing. So specifically, I really love the leave-in conditioner as well as the reparative hair mask. These two are the bomb.com. Like on a wash day, if you go and use this mask and then style with this leave-in conditioner and then use whatever gel on top, your curls will be defined and shiny every single time. So good and it also smells like a blueberry heaven. It is bomb. I actually also just recently started using their Blissful Length Liquid Hair Growth Vitamin as well. So let me tell you a little thing about growth vitamins. I haven't used any throughout my entire natural hair journey until now. So I just wanted to clarify that. Um, the reason for that is when I was younger in college, while I still had my relaxed hair, I tried Hairfinity pills and they broke me out like crazy. My face was covered in acne. So ever since then, I have been so scared and just refusing to touch any other hair growth vitamins. Then I heard about these, which are liquid. So apparently the liquid formulation makes it a lot different. So I've been using this. I was so nervous at first, but happy to report this is my second bottle, which is almost done actually. And I haven't experienced any acne like how I did before I have been super pleased with this and I'm just gonna continue and see like what my growth looks like I'm always taking pictures y'all know so I'll be able to compare maybe in like the next three or four months to see if like there has been a drastic increase in my level of hair growth all right next up I'm gonna talk about design essentials and natural hair they have this almond and avocado curl enhancing mousse that is so bomb I actually use it in my hair today so the thing I like about this mousse is that it actually gave me a lot of volume but still helped me maintain some curl definition I washed my hair today like maybe two three hours ago and look at the volume okay this is unheard of for me for day one especially well i'm so used to using gel so when i started to use this i was like wow this is incredible you guys actually recommended this on instagram so shout out to y'all all right so next i want to talk about camille rose that i'm so like i'm so sad right now because the product that i wanted to talk about was curl maker but i could not find it for the life of me and like I'm I feel a little bit lost without it so I'm gonna put up a little cute little photo of it right here and basically the curl maker is like life-changing as well it is such a good gel you guys have probably heard about me speak about this multiple times this is one of those products that I've used throughout the very beginning of my natural hair journey all the way up until now it has always worked with my curls always worked the same it is just bomb if you like incredible curl definition with incredible shine it is so good it is one of those products that at first once it's drying down it will leave a bit of a crunchy cast but if you just fluff your hair out with your hands like this the crunch goes away and you're just left with super defined defined and shiny curls i also love 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 to use it when i'm slicking back my hair is so good like it like flyaways are not a thing when you're using curl maker all right on to the next one so kinky curly is another really great brand 
another really great gel. This gel is actually very similar to the Curl Maker. So their Not Today Leave-In Conditioner and their Curling Custard Gel match made in heaven. So whenever I need to do a wash day on like a Sunday and then not have to worry about my curls, not refresh them too much, not have to worry about frizz or anything, like if I'm going on a trip or something, for like a full week, need my curls nice and maintained, these are the styling products that I go to for my wash and go. Like these are so good. This gel is so hardcore. Frizz wear, okay? As soon as you actually comb it through your curls, you can feel it just like gripping them and defining them to the gods. This also works on all curl types. I would say best for maybe type three to four curls. I feel like this gel actually works the best with this leave-in conditioner. So I always use them together. All right, let's see what else we got here. Ooh, the Honey and Sage Deep Conditioner by Alakia Naturals. This is so good. This is one of those things that smells like something that you could eat, like a nice, cinnamony chocolatey kind of dessert like it smells so good but it is also so very effective in your hair as a deep conditioner it is so bomb for moisture like that is the main thing that you get moisture and softness this is actually great for all hair types every single one it's just one of those go-to products if you feel like your hair is just looking a little bit tired, looking a little bit dull, a little bit dry and frizzy. Like this is what I will reach for to give it that bounce back. This is the thing, man. When women with natural hair create products for other women with natural hair, it's just, it's just a match made in heaven. We know what we're doing. All right, next I wanna talk about Briogeo. I never know if I'm saying this name right. Is it Briogeo or Briogeo? Like we're... Where does the emphasis lie? I have no idea, but I'm just gonna call it Briogeo because that's just the easiest thing for me to say. Their entire Curl Charisma line is bomb. In particular, I really love their Curl Defining Conditioner, the Frizz Control Gel, and the Coil Custard. So good, especially this Coil Custard. This is bomb, especially for type three to four hair types. Like I can even wear this without a gel on top and it gets me defined and it gives me a lot of volume as well. Another one of my favorite things about this brand itself, like in general, is that they are so focused on using more clean and more non-toxic ingredients in their hair care products, which I am a huge fan of. So on all of their products, you'll see it'll say no sulfates, no silicones, and no parabens. Like those are the main things that I always look for in products to see whether it's beneficial or not. And all of their products are formulated without that bad stuff. So I really, really love brands like that because anything that they come out with, you know that you can just completely trust that at least it'll be healthy for your curls. All right, next we gotta talk about TPH. I'm just gonna go over this very briefly because I did an entire long detailed video reviewing the entire collection. Some products I loved, some products I didn't love. So if you're interested in finding out which ones, I will go ahead and link that up here for you to check out. So my ultimate top three favorite products from her entire collection have got to be the hair scrub, the scalp cleanse, and then the gel. The scalp products specifically were life-changing. Y'all are going to have to watch a video to find out, but it is life-changing. So good. And the gel, I've heard a lot of other mixed reviews on the gel. Me personally, in the way that I used it, I didn't experience any flakes at all. I must have worn my hair for at least four days after and zero flakes whatsoever. So, all right, what else we got here? As I Am. Okay, so everybody knows about the As I Am Coconut Co-Wash. And if you don't know, where have you been? This is the most creamy, delicious co-wash I've ever used. It's so moisturizing, but yet so deeply cleansing at the same time. Like, I don't even understand how it works. This is also another product that's really great for every single hair type. It's just so good. This is just such an effective product. Another one that just works the same every single time. It doesn't have the harsh sudsing like how regular shampoos do. You already know I'm not into shampoos. If you want to hear about that as well, I will link lots of links in this video, but I will link this up here as well. 
All right, so those are a few of my favorite natural hair care brands and my favorite of their products. There are also a lot of other brands out there that I wanted to mention that are kind of like on my list to try. So they are Melanin Hair Care, Carol's Daughter, Miel, Sultanicals, Mixed Chicks, Oyin, and then TGIN. I only have one head of hair. That's pretty much the only reason why I haven't gotten a chance to try these brands, but they're definitely, definitely on my list of next to try. So make sure you're subscribed so you guys can see when those reviews come out because I will be doing some more reviews, especially with me kind of giving up Diva Curl for the moment. So yeah, guys, that is it for this video. A happy Black History Month, y'all. Let's celebrate us. If you have some favorite Black-owned products that I didn't mention in this video, go ahead and comment them below. I would love to see and try them out myself. Thanks so much for watching guys. If you enjoyed it, go ahead and give me a thumbs up and also don't forget to subscribe while you're subscribing. The usual two other videos here for you to check out as well. I'll catch you guys in the next one. Bye.